solved problems based on load curve and load duration curve. Problem number 3. So a power station has to meet the following load demands. Load A 50 kW between 10 am to 6 pm. Load B 30 kW between 6 pm to 10 pm. Load C 20 kW between 4 pm to 10 am. So plot the daily load curve and load duration curve and evaluate diversity factor, units generated per day and load factor. Solution. So the given data can be tabulated as the time in hours 0 to 10, then 10 to 16, 16 to 18, 18 to 22 and 22 to 24. So based on the hours available here, I uh, divided the hours in the table like this. So 0 to 10, uh, load A is 10 to 6 pm and load B is uh, 6 pm to 10 pm and load C it is 4 pm to 10 am. So here load C comes in that time zone 0 to 10 hours. So you can put 20 kilowatt in load C. Similarly 10, 10 am to 4 pm. So 10 am to 4 pm you can see here 10 am to 6 pm 50 kilowatt load in load A. So you can substitute 50 kilowatt. Okay, so this is the load variations in load A, load B and load C. Now you can add all the load for the given period of time 20 kilowatt 0 to 10, 50 kilowatt, 70 kilowatt here, 50 kilowatt here and 20 kilowatt here. So now we are going to use this table to plot the load curve and load duration curve. So to plot the load curve 0 to 10 it is 20 kilowatt, then 10 to 16 it is 50 kilowatt and 16 to 18 70 kilowatt then 18 to 22 is 50 kilowatt then 22 to 24 it is 20 kilowatt so from this total load on a power station you can plot the load curve and from this load curve you can plot the load duration curve as well so take the maximum value it is 70 kilowatt then second maximum is 50 kilowatt third one is 20 kilowatt so based on the hours you are going to arrange this load in descending order Okay, here is the load duration curve. So, 70 kilowatt is for 2 hours and 50 kilowatt is for 10 hours. So, 50 kilowatt comes here 10 to 16 as well as 18 to 22. So, for 10 hours and 20 kilowatt is for 12 hours. So, 20 kilowatt here. So, 0 to 10 and here it is 22 to 24. So, this is how you need to draw the load duration curve. So from the load curve, it is observed that the maximum demand on the power station is 70 kilowatt. Second one, find the diversity factor. So you can apply this formula, diversity factor equal to sum of individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand on power station. So sum of individual maximum demand of groups. So for load A, the maximum demand will be 50 kilowatt. Load B, maximum demand is 30 kilowatt and load c maximum demand is 20 kilowatt so you can add this you will be getting the sum of individual maximum demand and the maximum demand on the power station is 70 kilowatt so you can divide that you will be getting 1.428 as a diversity factor then third one find the units generated per day so units generated equal to load into hours so 70 into 2 hours so from the load duration curve easily you can uh, calculate this 70 kilowatt for 2 hours, 50 kilowatt for 10 hours, and 20 kilowatt for 12 hours. So, you can add this, you will be getting 880 kilowatt hour. And fourth one, find the load factor. Load factor equal to average load divided by maximum demand. So, average load is number of units generated in a day divided by number of hours in a day, that is 24 hours. So, units generated is 880 kilowatt divided by 24 that gives you 36.66 kilowatt and maximum demand we know that is 70 kilowatt so divide that you will be getting 0.5238 or 52.38 percentage that is your load factor.